In this section, we are going to look at how to integrate a smart contract that has been deployed to the blockchain with a front-end application like a website. Now, we have seen uh, the Web3.js, which is a JavaScript implementation. We use Web3 and talk to the smart contract, etc. But usual cases is that you will create a front end using React.js, Vue.js and things like that, right? So I'll take the concept of React.js, right? And uh, uh, try to implement this smart contract integration with React.js front end, right? Now, why React.js is because that's one of the most uh, famous and most growing, right? Uh, programming language front end framework in the world now created by Facebook. And even if you do not know React.js, I hope this should help you understand how I am doing it and how it is going to talk to the smart contract, etc. Right? Now, let's get into this to understand more about how to integrate a blockchain uh, which has a smart contract and a front end or as a React. Right? Now, for this, I am going to go back to this trufflesuit.com. Right? And in this trufflesuit.com, Apart from all the suits that we have seen, truffle, ganache, drizzle, etc., we have something called as the boxes, right? These are definite, you know, usually known as the truffle boxes, right? So in this, you can find drizzle, drizzle React Native. React Native is a uh, framework used to create mobile applications on both Android and iOS. It's by React itself. Drizzle with Vue we can use, or Pet Shop, Tutorial Token, React. Uh, we are actually going to use this React box. Other things are Metacoin, Viper, Tezos, lot of things are available in this truffle suit uh, as a template, right? If you, let's say, want to create a uh, full stack dApp, right, using React.js as the front end and Smart Contract as the back end, then you can go download this truffle React box, right, which gives you a template and you can just modify the template accordingly to your needs, right? So go into this React box and we'll be able to see they uh, tell you how to run this and how to install and things like that right so let's just do this and download this thing into our project folder okay so this will give us the client source inside the uh, truffle project itself yeah now you can do the same thing try the same thing with the web3.js demo that we took earlier uh, just add a html and css page to the node.js application that we did and hence it should also work right but react makes it even more intuitive with all the components and things like that that it has right so i'm into the same ethereum masterclass folder and uh, uh, whatever files have been created before using the truffle init etc have been moved into this folder called as truffle right just to make it cleaner etc right so you can create a new folder within ethereum masterclass folder uh, just like i did previously in your explorer or you can do it in command prompt itself like this, right? So I'll say within Ethereum master class mkdir, which means make directory, right? And let me call it front end, right? So once this is done, you can see that a folder has been created. Let me move into this folder by saying cd front end. cd means change directory and what directory name you have to give, right? So this is how I. Um, created this folder and moved into that in the command prompt itself, right? Now, what I need to do is download the truffle box into my system, correct? So, if you want to create a blank truffle folder, uh, right, or the project, you will do truffle init, correct? In this case, because it's a box that I'm going to download, I'll say truffle unbox react, correct? If you want to download this uh, drizzle, right, so you'll say drizzle view. So name of the box will go here. Yeah. Since I want to download this React box, I'm saying React or uh, sorry, Truffle Unbox React. Correct. And click Enter, and it should download the box. So if I open this, you'll be able to see that it is downloading the box. Once the box is downloaded, you can see all the uh, folders that comes up inside this front end folder. Correct. Let's wait for some time, give it some time so that it downloads this box and creates our project, right? Now, one thing to notice is that this is going to use our MetaMask for uh, getting the account and uh, using that. So, we'll also see how to connect our Ganache uh, local blockchain with MetaMask itself. There are a few cases in which you would want to do that. 
so i'll show you that as well in this uh, test right okay now that the unbox is successful right you can get some commands here so it says compile migrate testing and then test the uh, decentralized application as in you will use the client so the front end here is called as the client okay and you can say npm run test npm run start etc right <coughs> So that is how this project has been created, right? Now, if you look at this uh, project folder, right, you can find some common things like contracts, which contains all the contracts for you, migrations, test folder, right? And also truffle config.js, correct? This is a very small truffle config compared to what we had earlier because that is given by the truffle company and this is by the creator of this box itself, right? So first steps first, we know that we need to change it to 7545 to represent our uh, Ganache local blockchain, right? First things I changed 8545 to 7545, right? Once that is done, I need to see what are the contracts that's given here. So Truffle init is not giving you any contracts, right? Truffle init was just giving you, um, just a minute, yeah. Truffle init was just giving you migrations.sol. If you want to create a new contract, you create yourself we created add.sol yeah so in this you will go to simple storage.json this is a uh, contract that has been given as a sample you know by this react box itself right so they have spoken about 0 0.4.21 to 0 0.7.0 i will actually create it in 0 0.6.12 right so uh, why not so let it be the case and let me see what is the current version okay it is 7.0 let me use 7.0 just to be on the safer side while compilation this will not give me any errors for me right so that is the uh, contract that has been given what we are going to do is just set the variable and get the variable display that in our website right so i understand that most of you might not be well versed with react so i'm not getting into the uh, core of react and uh, building a complex application using react this is just a normal how do you say demo uh, for you to understand how it is but this gives you a very good understanding of what all can be done you know to uh, integrate your front end with the blockchain of course right so what does this do simple storage contract it has a unsigned integer called as store data right now there is a set function which gets an argument and sets the uh, date value to this variable there is a get function which gives the store data so that's the that's the maximum it does it's a very simple contract right it's like a hello world contract of uh, smart contracts right perfect <clears throat> so this has been given and they've also given a uh, deployer for our simple storage right so they have done artifacts that require simple storage and then simple storage has been deployed and things right so that is also given by themselves the react box they have some uh, test scripts also right but this we are not getting into now there's a separate section where we talk about testing right and truffle config is what we have and we have eight uh, seven five four five here right one thing you can notice in uh, this truffle config right is this contracts build directory right so the reason for uh, this is that previously whenever we compile our contracts right it goes and sits in the truffle project itself as inside the build folder correct uh, build contracts migrations test that's how the folder structure will be right but now i want to use the json file that has been created by the client okay so if you look at the client folder it has an entire react application running inside that public source source as a app js etc app js index js these are all react application right and it has its own package.json which is um, react based this thing right so all of this is a separate app running within Truffle, right? So what I want to do is make the client use these uh, JSON files that have been created. So I want to just change it, okay? Say client source contracts, right? So I'm saying whenever you uh, do Truffle compile, please save it in clients, uh, client folder. Inside that source folder, create a new folder called as contracts and put all the JSON files, right? Let's run that and see what happens. So I'll say truffle compile directly because simple storage is already written, right? So I don't need to do anything else here. So I'll just say truffle compile. It's gonna create 
my uh, json files after compiling everything right so now what is the error it has been giving okay uh, source file is different okay compiler is for 5.16 okay good then so i can change it to compiler simple storage 0 0.5.16 why not this is a very sim simple contract so not a lot of differences between what truffle has and what this has right so let me run truffle compile again after changing the compiler version now it has compiled using 0.5.16 remember that in truffle config you can show and set the uh, version of the sol com solicit key compiler also right i am not doing that because i am fine with 5.16 right and it has compiled as i told you if you go to client and look at source look there is a new contracts folder created and within this we have simple storage.json with all of the abi bytecode everything that is required for the front end to talk to the contract correct so that's what has been created now right once this is done we can directly get into the client and uh, run it but before that i need to migrate it into my local blockchain right so for that let me do truffle migrate yeah when you run this make sure that you are uh, ganache is running because without the blockchain it cannot uh, save it inside the blockchain right so i have my ganache running as you can see here right so that's why i was able to launch it uh, if you get some error which says uh, the the http provider is not available or something which means you need to run the ganache application correct wonderful so my uh, simple storage and migrations have been deployed into the local blockchain and all of that information will be there in my source folder contracts correct so now is when i am going to get into the client itself so my smart contract part is done right whatever i want to write whatever i want to compile and migrate i have done it already now the only thing i want to do is connect that with the front end and show you how uh, that is done so change directory client that will take me into the client itself right to run this, I'm gonna do npm run start. Okay, so when you do this, the React application will start running. Correct. So if I look at where I can run this, let me go to this, and I can do localhost 3000. So 3000 is where uh, this application usually runs, React application. Correct. So, yeah, here you can see localhost 3000 is where it is running, okay. And here, look at it, it's asking for a MetaMask notification, right. So, I can say, okay, connect my first account to MetaMask, next, and connect, okay. So, once it is done, you can again say next, as long as it keeps asking, right. Now, yeah, this is what I was showing you. Localhost 3000 it is where my React application runs. So just bring it here. <clears throat> and you can see that this contract object does not have an address yet. Why is that the case? Because my MetaMask, <clears throat> now if you look at, yeah. So you can see that my MetaMask has opened now, right? Within this, I see main Ethereum network ROPS and whatever, but it is connected to my RinkB test network, right? So, I did not deploy my contract into the RingB test network, correct? It has been deployed into the local blockchain called as Ganash, correct? So, now this MetaMask is going to act as the Web3 provider for my website, correct? So, here is the situation where you need to connect your MetaMask wallet to your uh, Ganash blockchain, correct? Can you do that? Yes, of course, we can do it. So, let me go here and look at all the networks that i have here i see something called as custom rpc right so using that i'll be able to configure to connect with any blockchain that i want to right so here let me go to custom rpc i'll give the network name as ganash and ganash has two things right one cli one ui so let me make it more specific saying ganash ui and what is the url in which my ganash connects to is 127001 You can just copy that and paste it here, right? Chain ID, everything will be taken automatically. You don't need to give that, right? 
and click on save. Once you do it, you have this Ganache UI coming up, right? And uh, okay, that's it. We are done. We have connected our account one with this. And why do I need to do this? That's fine, not an issue. Reject it as soon as it asks for something. Now Ganache UI is connected. Ganache UI is the blockchain which gives it. So just like main Ethereum network, ROPS and test network, Ganache UI is also a blockchain running inside of my computer, right? But this DC08 is not an account that is there in my Ganache, right? So my Ganache has 85152E73, etc. I want to import this account into Metamask, correct? So let me go back, right? Click on this blue icon and you can create a new account or import a new account also, right? So do I have the private key of this account? Yes, I have the private key here, right? Account address is this and the private key for that is this. Let me just copy this private key, go back here and import an account. You can either uh, download this or import this account using private key or JSON file. I am choosing private key and I am pasting the private key here. Just import it. So once you import, you will be able to see that account 2 has been created, right? This is 8515, 51F3, 8, 8515, right? So here you can see 51F3, 8Y15. That's the account that has been imported. And the balance also, if you look at this as 99.96 Ether, here in MetaMask, you can see 99.96 Ether, right? That is how you import and connect MetaMask wallet to your local blockchain called as Ganache also, right? Another concept which you need to know, right? This might be helpful in a few cases. Okay, so since I have connected it, correct, since I have connected it, uh, this let me refresh the page. Once I refresh the page, what it is going to do is uh, set up this new pop-up, right? It's going to say, okay, I want to connect, you know, deploy the contract and all. So give me gas fees. Let me say confirm because that's fine, right? It's connecting from my account too only which is 8515 so just click on confirm and you will be able to see that the stored value is 5 here we'll look at where this is 5 is coming from right in the react code okay now this is how this connection and everything works right account number 2 has been imported go back if you do not understand any one of the steps also here this is kind of important for people right now you can see that my, oh, where is my, yeah, this is my react code, correct? No, actually my react code went here, <laughs> okay. So let me just pull it down here and here you can find that my terminal is there and it's still running, right? Now is when I need to look at my app.js code, right? Go to source, go to app.js, this is where my react application is running from okay you can see that uh, if you have no react you can see much of this is uh, all given right so react and react component these are all react components i am taking simple storage contract from contracts simple storage.json i need the json file because that's the one that contains the uh, byte code and abi etc right so i'll take that and i'll also get web3 okay so web3 comes along with truffle so i'll also get web3 using this code right and here you say state is equal to storage value is zero now right so all of these things so whenever the component mounts whenever the web page opens it is getting web3 just like your uh, web3 uh, demo that we showed right it is getting accounts web 3get accounts the same thing that we used uh, in there we used the uh, promise then kind of a structure here we are using async and await that's the same thing which means uh, when this line starts executing right it will not go to the next line unless this completes that's why we say await await till you get the web3 await till you get the accounts kind of okay so this waits till that time and network id deployed network instance all of that is pre-written in the react application itself you can go through this it's just uh, creating a new contract using the ABI and network and the address, correct? So we create that and then we say web3 will be set in the state 
accounts will be set in the state contract is the instance of the contract and then you say run this dot run example what is this run example this run example is a function this run example is going to come in and say okay contract dot methods what is methods function right set five if you look at the contracts and simple storage set is a function name and you are passing in an argument of five correct you are doing that and you are doing that from accounts of zero right we have to pay the gas fee of course right then comes response equal to methods dot get dot call what is this get that's another view function yeah so i'm just setting five and getting that value right so i am saying storage value is the value set in this thing now within this entire thing you go to it will say this dot state dot storage value is going to be displayed correct so as soon as the application starts your front end it is setting the value of five in the stored value and it is just uh, displaying that stored value here right that's what it is doing and that's the reason you see the stored value is five here correct so here a simple thing that you can do is change this to let's say one nine okay 19 and save it what is going to happen is this will reload right and of course as usual it's going to give a metamask notification right this is a new security feature that has been added okay uh, every time you do it it will ask for things now the stored value is 19 correct because uh, the set function is setting 19 into the application so this is a very simple uh, front end integration that we have seen now let's write some more code in this react application to get the uh, get the value from the user itself right and then set it to the function so i don't want to always go to this code and change this 19 right i want to do it uh, dynamically i'll give a text box where you can enter your number and if you click on a button that number will be stored in the contract kind of right let's do that so for that what we need to do is go back from the beginning see if we require all of this right react is required yeah simple storage.json yes of course app.css fine storage value is zero okay everything is good get web3 get accounts get id and till now it is fine this dot set state okay i don't want to run this uh, run example uh, function as soon as this uh, set state is done which means as soon as the web page loads it's going to run this this run example will set the value of 19 directly right i don't want this to happen so let me just remove this if you remove that it's not going to run example immediately okay let me run it when the user clicks the button okay that's what i want to do right and then of course uh, contract.methods.set19 so what i want to do is send the value from the front end text box right that's how i want to add this value once this is done you will also get the value and set it in storage value correct that's all fine i don't want to disturb any of this let it be not an issue at all right so now the stored value is this dot state dot storage value that's fine in the beginning it will be zero correct and now let me create a new div right within this div i want to create two things one is an text box and the other is a button okay to submit that so how do you create a text box you will say input type is equal to text correct and id is equal to input let's say okay and uh, with this you will be able to create a text box and then i'll create a button okay type is equal to submit right and this let's say submit so let me just run this and check if i'm getting a text box and the submit button i've got it right styling i'm not worried about now uh let's do a little bit of styling alone say uh, br so that we get a line after that right? just some space right so here if we enter number let's say 19 and submit it it should call the uh, contract the set function of the contract and then it should set the number that's what we want to do okay wonderful so i have created this input right now on submit i should be able to say on click is equal to right this dot or i can actually do uh, 
binding function right so here i can say this dot run example okay so this function will be run whenever i click on this button okay so to check that let us mm, that's fine uh, i know this will work that's not an issue right so so on click it is going to call the run example function right if it doesn't work we'll come back and change it as we usually do right i'm not expecting to be a, a perfect programmer right i want to be a good programmer who understands the program and debugs this okay now within this i can access the value right how can you get the value from the text box we have set this id right so where is the id id of input right so we can use the uh, id to get it so i'll say document dot get element by id called as input dot value right so this is okay so this is going to give me the value that is coming from the uh, text box that i have created so uh, just to pass this in i'll create a constant okay uh, input value let's say right and instead of 19 you know hard code number i'll pass this in okay so this should uh, set the value and run example have i done everything properly document get element body input dot value input value is passed in it will set it then it will get it put it in state and hence that will be displayed here correct text to input yeah everything looks fine as far as i know so let's see how it works okay so let me just refresh the page to be sure and if i enter let's say 25 right and submit it it's going to open metamask if it is doing otherwise there is some problem hmm okay let me try another method of running this instead of calling all of this let me just go back and do this this should actually do it okay yeah so the previous method binds this uh, into the button itself but that's fine not an issue at all right so go back now refresh it just to be sure enter 25 and submit once you click on submit there should be a metamask notification that's coming up since it is not coming let me do it automatically it's ganache ui and 8.15 so i think it's good what's the problem here hmm okay let's see go back to this and here let me do a console log right console log uh inside the run function right so if this console is uh, coming up right then that means the button click is at least working right so let me go to this console and see oh okay on click is not a good property it says which means it needs to be some other it's not calling the function only okay so instead of this okay here is the problem it should say button type on click equal to this dot example okay that's a small problem <laughs> c should be capital okay so that's the that one if we do we should be able to enter 25 submit right and you can see that it says inside the run function which means the function was called also and metamask gives you a notification saying hey uh, i think you are trying to you know change something in the blockchain can we transact using your account i'll say yes please do it confirm and now you can see that the stored value is 25 which means my input has gone into the smart contract and then i have got it using the get function and displayed that in the front end also right so sending transaction receiving transaction and showing it both of this has been done by this let's do it once again let's say 30 submit and you can go to this look at the function again now it is done again 30 now you might notice that it is happening immediately because it is the local blockchain simulation whenever you do it in the uh, test net it's going to take time of course right so that is how you create a front end to integrate with your smart contract in the blockchain okay so i hope this has given a clear idea of how to 
create a complete dApp with a front end smart contract and how to make them interact with each other and things right hope this was helpful let's see in the next section